All right, guys, so welcome back to Stuck on an Island where I'm stuck with you and we are always smiling. I'm here with my beautiful girlfriend. Um, hey. We are going to the houseboat restaurant. Yo, it's a restaurant on a boat. I'm gonna show you guys. Like, pretty awesome, right? Like, legit underwater hunting, hunting. Listen to me. So long that we're taking a boat to go across. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All kind of hype this is. Bless up. Wow. It's pretty cool, guys. Yeah, Check it. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, we can do that for sure. Are you a vlogger on YouTube? Yeah, I do. <laughs> travel, travel, travel. Oh. So you can, you guys can see like the boat is rocking. Of course, because you're on the water. Take time, girl. Started last year, so. So, he pretty much, guys, just pushed us off. So we were over there, and then now, it's pretty dope. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, check it out, man. Yeah, it's pretty interesting. No, it was. Yeah, it was to get the new one because salt water, for God's sake. Oh, yeah. Thank you. So the waitress was telling us about. Um, because where we're sitting, we're at the edge. So she was saying, when you're here, Make sure you keep your stuff over there. Normally, if your phone falls or whatever, they have a diver that could dive off and go get your stuff. But <laughs> at this <laughs> at this at this time of night, they don't really have them. So <laughs> yeah. So my phone is it's Gucci over here. No water. No. Appointment for you, sir. No, I'm good. Okay. Everything else. All right. Your waiter is coming. Bartender is coming. Okay. Enjoy, thank, yeah? thank you so much. So, what kind of water? What, what kind of water? What water? <laughs> you tell her already. I should not tell me. I don't have to. She not tell me nothing. He a he a trip, yo. He full of energy and vibe. But anyway, um, we're moving. Tifa? I thought you said Tifa in that the artist. But anyway, we. <laughs> We are about to Please, go to the other me. side because we want to we we're okay. get a nice we're okay. side. No All right, so anything from the bar? Yeah, we'll, we'll, soon. All right. We'll if you, order yeah. food first and then. All right. Yeah. Whenever you, if you want anything from the bar, just let, let you wait on. All right. All right. Okay. Cool. You're, you're always on the bar. To the bar. Button. Okay. Cool. All right. All right thank, thank you, bro. You. Yeah. So where we are, we're seeing directly out into. You know the city. We don't want that part. We want to be able to look out at the view there. So we're gonna move so we can do that. But um, so far, what I like about it, it's quite unique. As you can see, the guide over there, he's on the mini kind of barge thing. Push it and you go over there. I mean, I like those kind of stuff. Those small, intricate touches are everything for me personally, and I guess for you guys as travelers as well. But um, let's take a quick look at the menu to see like what exactly it is. Um, you guys can, you know, pause the video and take a quick look or, you know, go online and check it out. Remember houseboat, bar and grill or something like that. All right, so we are on our little journey to a better view for us and also for you guys. Oh, so that view on this one? Mm, check it out. <laughs> Boy star! Alright. So, this is the part that we were talking about. Nice view looking out. You know, that's pretty nice. The only thing I think is missing, Bay, is like, um, there should be like some music in the background. There's, there's no music. 
So that means I'm gonna be the one singing. Ave Maria. Huh? How should I do it? La <laughs> la. Oh gosh. Inside joke. But anyway, guys, over there, that's my yacht. Um, I don't know. Oh, we, babe, how is that? I would have always used the yacht. The man I watch TV in the back. <laughs> yeah, so we just out here, you know, chilling. So we're gonna figure out what we're gonna get. Um, in terms of the prices of stuff, um, I think this is more to. Uh, it's above mid range. It's probably like a out of five stars, maybe like a four star rating in terms of prices. I'm not talking about quality, just the you know priciness, but let's see. Hope the f hopefully the food quality is very good. So I'm gonna have some um, bread. Not raisins in there. Yeah. Get that bad boy before it gets cold. It's nice and warm. I'm about to devour it. Yo, that fish is just chilling there. Sometimes like you hear them jumping up and the bartender, well, the waiter said that they can make them come around at like the bigger ones on the next side over there. They can actually make them come up to like the, the deck, the big ones. It's pretty cool. Young girl, try to eat the bread. The restaurant is expensive. I get every micro out of them. Eat the bread. Yes, daddy. I like, mm, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the bread, the roll is a, a raisin kind of bread thing, but she don't like raisins, so. Can you imagine, guys? This lady will will, will eat pistachio ice cream you know, and pick out the pistachio out of it. Like, what's the point? <laughs> Leave it alone. <laughs> Let me be. So, like, yo. I'm just there so I'm kind of easy and it's a pretty thing and yo in our life yo you have to always be grateful like brother there's just like so much stuff to be like thankful for like a lot of people come in a moment and you know many people out there would like to like even eat Burger King just to eat a burger and they can't even afford it and I mean I'm not like at any point where I'm eating caviar or anything like that, but I'm at a point where I know a lot of people in life would be grateful for. Even now, I'm able to like pop my camera down on this tripod that um, Rosemary got for me. And yo, trust me, <laughs> this is convenient as hell. Like, I love it. You feel me? So, like, even those small things, you have to give thanks for. Because if you look at it, like a lot of people, what they do is we complain about everything like all the small problems we complain about them but like when we get those small blessings like we never give thanks for the small blessings you see me we never give thanks for it you feel me i like being a burger king and i'm not putting a ketchup in the bag we start give thanks and we put the ketchup in the bag and then so the first thing actually i did their job <laughs> I purposely did that. Like, I don't like having like sentimental moments too much. You what? Huh? You what? You? I'm not gonna be there. I'm just saying, in Jamaica, we are the fast. It's lobster. Lobster? Yeah. Really? Yeah. So oh, cool. that's dope. That's dope. So it's a viewing tank for your lobster. That's pretty dope. Thanks for coming. How you doing, Doing great, man. <laughs> Thank you. Here, I got these right here. Yo, again, again, thanks, Rosemary, for this little tripod thing. I am so in love with it. Like, it. It's so handy and so convenient. Um, just to show you guys a little look around the spot, it's pretty small. Like if I if I have like a restaurant in the future, this is the size that I want. I don't want nothing like overly big. You know, it's like I have my girl. You know what I'm saying? I don't want no booty like overly big booty. I want to I can grasp it in my hand. I got control of that. Okay. 
Hey, hey. <laughs> but yeah, um, that's like the bar area and stuff. Okay, all right. Let's go. All right, so, oh, all right. So our appetizer came in. Okay, can I get a glass of water, please? Yeah. yeah. Sure. Yeah. Here or? I don't know. So this is our appetizer, of course. In these little places, they give you the meals in baby sizes. So this is an appetizer, or? Mm. Want, want a whole leaf, like a whole leaf of beef and dumpling and something. You want a full course, that's what you're talking about, huh? Mm. All right, so let's get it. So dude has been feeding me um, some other appetizer. But the table is a little bit small, so it really can't hold a lot of stuff on it. I think the waiter needs to, you know, just clear that stuff there, but I know what you guys have been wondering, like, you know, what does it taste like? Um, is it good? I know, I'm, I won't say it's spectacular. The shrimp is fresh. The shrimp is definitely properly well, properly cooked. Um, what do you think, babe? I like the shrimp. I don't know what the thing in the bottom is. It's fine. It works. Wipe on a thought, babe. Nothing at the bottom. <laughs> but, um, it's good. What do you think about it? Do you think it's like creative or really inventive as a dish? No. Yeah, it's just shrimp. Good. Yeah. Good evening. Hey, good evening. How's everything? Just good. I'm all right. Ah, thank you. And this, these things. Yes, man, I can take all right, thank you, ma'am. Definitely pretty fresh. Fresh flavor, it definitely tastes like something like that wasn't frozen yeah. before fresh caught. Um the only thing that I can say is like um it doesn't it's not like surprising, you know, but like it's good. And the size of the shrimp is nice though. The size of the shrimp is, is very nice, so I like it. It's pretty good. Um What I got is a surf and turf. And surf and turf is like, um, it's basic, you know? But I wanna see how well I'm gonna do that beef, and flavors and stuff, but I would definitely recommend, recommend you guys to come here. Um, I think it opens at six o'clock and closes at 11, so. Nice quality shrimp. I kiss you not. But you guys can see me just here chilling, man. You can hear it from the tone of my voice that I'm just relaxed. Should I ask water? Yeah. Wow. Breda. Okay, to give you guys a good understanding on the size, because you guys are not going to catch the perspective. That, maybe the water magnified it, but that is easily maybe like three feet like a three foot long fish wow i wonder why they accumulate over on this side though maybe because they smell the food that they're cooking or something or they probably feed them. Yeah. oh blood brother go fish brother yo they are big you kind of trick me in a car you're like a man <laughs> But you have to. May I watch you here? May I watch you here? I don't people in peace. You. You. You're not good, somebody. Alright, you me, me, me understand you. Is that, is that straight up Bubba Dread? You. You're tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, snap. 
Yeah, we just here, just walking around and just observing the place, you know? Until our main course comes. Oh, yeah! It's a jellyfish! Right there. There's I two. Can I see it? Yeah, I can see it. I'm zooming in. Hey, for the win, babe. Hey. Yeah, Judah with the assist. So, like, the thought, not just as a thought, but like as a traveler or someone who's aspiring to be an even bigger and bigger traveler in the future, like, I have to recognize the fact, like, in Jamaica, it's such a beautiful and special place for tourists and travelers alike because you don't have a lot of stuff to really worry about in terms of, like, nature. You know what I'm saying? Like, seeing the jellyfish it reminds me of this video that, this series that I was watching on Netflix with um, some dangerous animals, like that are living in the sea or just in the jungles of some tourist destinations, yo. And I remember seeing a video on the box jellyfish. I don't remember if it was Thailand or wherever, wherever it was. One of those countries that I want to go in the future. Um, Memba. Like, I saw people, like, you know, getting stung by the jellyfish and instantly dying. So, like, when I think about stuff like that, like, I'm so appreciative that the waters here are pretty much, you know, gooch, you know. What's gooch? Gooch, What's gooch, gooch? means gucci. It means, like, great. Like, it's acceptable. It's awesome. You feel me? So, like, the waters out here are gooch. You know what I'm saying? Like... <laughs> Meaning like you don't have to really worry about like predators and stuff like that. Yeah, you get stung by jellyfish because like Rosemary's son, I believe he got stung by jellyfish yeah. today. And um I thought they would have peed on it or something. That's what you people know, say. Like, what what pee for the lady. Alright. Thank you. Alright. So I got the surf and turf. Um, take a quick look at it. So of course I always get my beef on um, medium rare. A lot of Jamaicans I know don't like any you know pink in their meat, but I can tell you, I'ma convert you today. If you eat meat that has that kind of texture, you're gonna definitely get more flavor out of it. Whether you like it or not or whatever, I'm trust me, take it from me. It's a lot better that, that way. I never used to like beef at all. I, I never liked beef, I thought it was very dry. But after that. But anyway, this is uh, the surf and turf. It looks delicious. Oh. And what what is your little thing over here? I thought I was getting the same one with you, like the other stuff on it, steam about, but I don't know what happened. Yeah, so no, she, thing, she's I asking about the spicy. She's putting on that little voice because she's trying to sneaking on my dish, but like it's not gonna work. Like, yeah, that, 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 that. Mm -mm. No, you, I'm gonna ask you. You thought wrong. I'm gonna ask her. Yeah, so anyway, we're about to chow down I'm in this beautiful, beautiful dish. Let me help you first. No, Judah. Boy. <laughs> so Judah is that friend that will that will <laughs> see your plate and be like, "Yo, screw my order," like all the time. But anyway, you want to get into this food? All right. So now that I have my amazing tripod, I can actually you know show you guys like first bite analysis. Um, so let's just try the steak by itself. Rich in a flavor. Thank you. Yep, you're welcome. Can we get um some water please? Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Better. The flavor in this, the steak, phenomenal. That's what I'm looking for, guys. When you're eating, when you're eating these kind of things, even though it's the basic thing, 
you want that punch, you want that flavor where you're like, yo, it's it's extraordinary. This one, hands down, super good. Mm. I love it. Mm -mm. The beef turn up Try the lobster. Right where? Mm -hmm. I eat. Oh. Potato tastes nice too. Oh, oh this kalalu I do. Thank you. Everything on this plate. Everything on this plate is worth it. I will come back here just to have surf and turf. Mm, that sauce though. No, no. Do you like cheese? Mm hmm. Ooh. This one is a winner, guys. If you like beef, you want some seafood, get yourself a serve and turf. It's a, it's a perfect combo. Best serve and turf I've ever had. Hands down. All right, so here we got the, the lava cake, a la mode. For me, I like, yeah, a la mode just means with ice cream. Yeah, nothing big. But anyway, I like, um. This is an interesting lava cake because normally it's supposed to be like. I thought it would have been a lava cake. Like it's supposed to be like, plate. like you know, put down. But whatever. I guess it's a different variety. But normally it's supposed to be like, like a volcano, and then you cut it and the chocolate comes out. But we'll work with it this way. And of course we're gonna do it with some ice cream. Ready? Cut it on, see if it squirts out. If it squirts. Okay, ready? It's like a pudding inside. Yeah. Turn off the light, I'm like a JPS one. Oh, sorry, babe, sorry. It's alright, it's fine. It's gonna readjust itself. Let's see. Yeah. Oh. Too much chocolate. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go for the ice cream. Hmm? I'm gonna go for the ice cream. I'm gonna eat this. Mm -mm. Yeah. It's nothing like what I thought it would be. Um. It tastes it, like Milo. <laughs> no. You know what that means? For me? What? Destiny make melody at that time? Babe. <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like Milo and I don't like Milo. So. Um, if you're a chocolate fan, you love it. But you love it because that's one thing with food. Not not because you don't like it means that everyone else in the world is not gonna like it. So if you're a chocolate fan, I, I'm thinking you're gonna like it. But what I'm used to is more of a cakey out exterior, and it's a small part actually being lava. You know. But this is like, look at that. It's just like pudding. Yeah, that's too much for me. Yeah. But with the ice cream, it kind of, yeah, it's like, it balances it out. But I'm not like super impressed, but whatever. I hope it only costs like $200. <laughs> I know it doesn't. Yeah. I'm ready for the bill. I feel relaxed. Oh, yeah, I wanted to get the bill so I could tell you guys, you know, what it is. So I think it's gonna maybe come up to like. Mm, 8,000. 8,000 below. I think it would be like 13,000. Yeah, oh shit, yeah. It's gonna be like 13 grand maybe. I forgot to put that. 
but yeah, um, in general, I, I enjoy it. Um, for my friend Gabby, because Gabby once asked me if I, you know, if I did come to this restaurant, I did. Now I did. <laughs> and it's good. Yeah, but bring a sweater, guys. You know, it's pretty chilly out here. Guys, I knew it. <laughs> I was pretty close. You guys remember those, um, what you call it, the, the gaming show thing? So, yeah, this is pretty much um, what it came up to. Um, thinking about price. Thinking about the price, price point is a big thing. Because if I was, if we were in Kingston, if we were in Kingston, we could have gotten a nice meal appetizers, probably like. Buy card or cash. Um, if we went to like a restaurant like um, Fromage, which I think could give like this kind of quality. It would be like a maybe a 12 grand bill with the drinks because we didn't order drinks. Oh yeah, we didn't. Order. Thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So as I always say, when I do remember, remember the tip, guys, because yo, these people they work very hard. Uh, you know, when they get done at work at like 11 o'clock, they gotta get back home. Like maybe they're done like 12 to 1 o'clock. Yeah. Fear, right? Fear price, fear price gone up. That's all. And not all restaurants actually give them, not all restaurants give them um, what you call transport. So, thank you, sir. So, you know, make sure you do it. I'm not gonna this coming, but it kind of stink. All right, so we're pretty much at my favorite part. <laughs> so big on the boat. Can I get that pick right here, babe? Hmm? I don't have to pick her. Wait, don't leave just yet, sir. Mr. Sir, don't drive off yet. Come <laughs> <laughs> on. Step on the boat and I'll pass kick out. Kick out. And I have plans on the boat. Yeah, man. Yeah. We were done already. Reach? No. <laughs> oh, that's what I yeah, upstairs, no? I knew something was missing. They had an upstairs? Yes, I knew something was missing. Yeah, cause I remember when I was when I looked at it online, I saw. Yeah. Um, it was it looked like a bigger place. All right, guys. So that's pretty much putting us to like the end of our Montego Bay trip. I mean, it was pretty awesome. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, I hope you guys did too. You know, meeting some of the people who actually watch the watch the videos. You know, my subscriber Rosemary, my friend Rosemary. Now, I'm glad you guys got the chance to see that. You know, what I'm saying because a lot of the time people watch the vlogs, and I know you guys might. You know want to interact with me more so someone did come and did get the experience so i'm glad that she did that um but anyway we're going to end the video here remember these three things guys love nature and adaptation and always remember keep the link say bye babe <laughs> <laughs>